What is going on YouTube? Onyx back on this mud 15 and as you can see there's a brand new team of the week 96 overall Julian Edelman which I feel like is a waste of a card I mean I guess Patriots fans will like it but uh I feel like all of the team of the week cards that came out today are waste of cards nobody's gonna use them uh, Julian Edelman's going for like 240k right now just because there's not that many of them I don't think anybody's really gonna buy him it would be stupid if you did um, 510 94 speed 94 route running 94 elusiveness a good slot receiver 98 catching traffic but once again he's short he costs more than Deion Branch and Isaac Bruce who are better receivers faster receivers Isaac Bruce is also taller uh, Deion Branch is shorter, yes, but faster and just as good in almost every way as that Wes Welker's same catch and traffic. A little bit lower route running, but still has 98 catch and traffic. Just as elusive and faster, even though he's an inch shorter. But if you're going to get 5'10 Julian Edelman, it doesn't really make that big of a difference to get 5'9 Deion Branch. Um, his card is not going to stay this expensive. Um, I'm pretty sure it's probably going to drop down to around where Andre Johnson and Chris Carter are selling for at the moment. And yeah, I just feel like all these Team of the Week cards for this Super Bowl are waste. Um, hopefully Football Outsiders is doing cards uh, for the Super Bowl. And hopefully Friday Chris Matthews will get a card because one, he deserves it and to these cards are horrible and nobody nope nobody's gonna use any of these cards I'm just gonna show you the cards that are in it um first Tony McDaniel 85 overall uh, I guess he did decent I don't really understand why he got a card but I guess they had to find somebody to give a card to uh, Michael Bennett was destroying the Patriots offensive line but Tony McDaniels gets a card for getting two tackles and a pass deflection so there's one of the cards nobody's gonna use um, second Malcolm Butler he may be one of the only cards that actually gets used once his price drops because right now he's selling near 100k cuz he's new so he's gonna stay up there but he actually has a decent card 511 not bad height wise um, not the tallest but he's not short either 511 is not bad definitely better than Brandon Flowers and his 59 uh, 94 speed decent speed uh, agility is not the greatest but decent speed and man coverage zone coverage also not the greatest but 90 is by no means bad it's just not great 88 play rec is actually really good though so very good play recognition with good speed um, not bad height and 83 catch is actually also very good what's his jump look like i didn't even look at his jump last time i looked at this card 95 jump so actually this might be one of the only really usable cards 95 jump at 511 is very good especially with 83 catch he's sitting on like antonio cromartie type catch and he can actually jump even though yes he's shorter than cromartie obviously but He's, he's probably going to go up and get some of those balls. Knowing Madden, uh, 86 catching traffic. Wow. I mean, I guess, but damn. Okay. A cornerback with 86 catching traffic. So, yeah, like I was saying, Malcolm Butler might be one of the only cards that's actually usable. He's still not a top cornerback, and for the price he's at right now, it's no point in buying him. But once uh, this set becomes a little cheaper which it's gonna get a lot cheaper because nobody really I don't think anybody's really gonna want that Julian Edelman like I said he's not the fastest and his route running is good but there are other receivers that are faster with just as good route running and he's short so uh, there's there's not really much reason to want Julian Edelman so Butler's price is gonna drop I would probably pick up Butler after his price drops so hold off for for about a week he's gonna drop to about Byron Maxwell price about 40k <clears throat> excuse me yeah he's gonna drop and I would definitely pick him up then all right and for your highest overall elite team of the week card for this week Rob Ninkovich <clears throat> once again another useless card 
Um, there's so many other 92 or close left ends. Um, he's another power move left end. Not really the fastest. Not slow by any means, but not really the fastest. Really high power move. Block shedding leaves a lot to really be desired. 88 block shedding is not that good, especially for a power move defensive end. Usually finesse move defensive ends usually have lower block shedding, and the power move ones usually uh, have higher very good play rec though he does have very good play rec at the end um but once again he's he's 97 tackle he's just an average defensive end especially for a super bowl card good power move average block shed really good tackle good play rec uh it, i once again i don't think he's worth what he's selling either his price is going to drop too the cheapest one right now is 110 I'm pretty sure both of their prices are going to drop. Um, he's only useful if you really want to complete this set. I don't really see why you would really want to complete this set unless you pull these cards. Even even if I pulled both of these cards, I would probably turn around and sell both of them because I'll probably get more from selling the two elites than from actually selling Julian Edelman because I don't think anybody's going to want to buy Julian Edelman. I think there will be at least one person trying to buy a Rob Ninkovich and one person trying to buy a Malcolm Butler, but I, I don't really see too many people paying 200, 200 plus K for Julian Edelman. Um, that's just my opinion. There may be other others of you that actually want a Julian Edelman card. I'm just not into really short, slow receivers. I mean, he's not slow, but like I said, there's there's so many other receivers that are faster than him. It's just not that great of a card, and I, don't, I mean, I guess when you look at the game, they didn't really have too many cards to pick from on the Patriots side, because nobody really did good on their team. Edelman had a good game, uh, Blunt did nothing, he got shut down, Shane Vereen had decent spurts when he came in, Danny Amendola did decent, Brandon Tate had like one catch. He was useless. Gronkowski had a decent game. Nobody really had a good game, but so I guess they really didn't have much to go off of. So hopefully the Football Outsiders will have a Chris Matthews card, because that's what I'm waiting for. I'm definitely waiting for a 90 plus 6'5 Chris Matthews card. Uh, I definitely would, would, would like that on my team. Maybe he'll be the 24-hour hero. Who knows? I don't know. I doubt it, but he might. They might give it to him. But uh, that's that's all I have for you for this one. Team of the Week cards, not that useful this week, in my opinion. But uh, that's all I got. I'm Onyx, and I'm out of here.